Yo, what's going on guys? Doom Incarnate or Incarnate HD here, and I'm on my YouTube video grind once again. You guys are going to be hearing my voice on this channel a lot more. I'm trying to pump out two to three Doom videos a week, so I do hope you enjoy my commentary style. I know it's a little bit different, but I try to be as real as I can in my commentaries. I try not to put on a fake voice. I just kind of like I just kind of like to be myself. I know that sounds really cliche, but I think being yourself is really important, even on the internet. But uh, the gameplay today is brought to you by Zoom, and he's back uploading once again. Took a little bit of a break, because the game did get a little bit stale for him, even though he is as good as he is i mean he's just got such a small amount of time played and just such a large library of gameplays honestly if you see what this guy has up the, up his sleeve and just the way he plays he's honestly outstanding but you guys know that already so the gameplay is a solo double chem strike on whiteout playing on the xbox one which i do believe does make this gameplay just that bit more impressive just due to the fact that even on ps4 just the next gen consoles in general no matter when you got them christmas or release date if you got these consoles at the release date like originally when the xbox one came out they were a nightmare, honestly, to play. Just everyone was jump shotting and everyone was sweating. They had their sweatbands on. Really wasn't a good time, but now it has kind of mellowed out ever since the Christmas noobs have come on. So that's, you know, it's more fun to play, I guess, just because there's an advance in graphics and it just feels different with the new controller and stuff. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this. It does make the gameplay that much more impressive because. More people are try hardy, but uh, he is playing 6v6, not ground war, just because ground war isn't what people thought it would be. I mean, everyone's like, oh, ground war on next gen, that's great, you know, we're really happy to see it, but it isn't too different just because they took out the good maps. But uh, I'm not here to rant, honestly. I do hate ranting. So I am here to talk about what we can do to make the game better. I do talk about this a lot, and it might sound kind of oversaturated, but I don't think people have talked about game modes. And that's what I'm here to talk about today, clearly. Game modes. New game modes. Now, something that we've seen Triarch and Infinity Ward collectively do, or add new game modes throughout the lifespan of Call of Duty, we saw that... In MW3, they added MITD, Infected. Those weren't there in the original vanilla game, but as the game expanded and got... Go later in its life cycle, we saw new game modes, and those new game modes, believe it or not, were some fan favorites. Now, that just goes to show that a change, not necessarily an improvement, but just a change can be just that much better, because Infected was different. It was something that we hadn't seen before, and I think that's what our community wants to see. We want to see things that we haven't seen before that don't make the game worse. Like, I don't think people were tweeting at Robert Bowling and Tina saying, wow, I really wish for a Claymore C4 combination, and they're like, oh, wait, we should add IEDs. No, they did it to be innovative, but sometimes innovative isn't necessarily the best way, but innovative is what we want to see, and they do know that, but it's definitely to an extent just because some innovative stuff can just get annoying. So I'm to go into game modes. I know in Black Ops 2 they did add arms race, which I don't know. Like it wasn't there fully, I don't believe. I think it was just temporary. And that was kind of an attempt to increase the pace of the game. Which in itself, Black Ops 2 was a pretty fast paced game. I know some people are going to disagree with me there. But I did enjoy Black Ops 2 in the way it played. Mainly because I'm just a complete Triarch fanboy. But um... Arms Race, it was similar to, um, no, it wasn't really similar to anything. It was new, but it was a team deathmatch based game mode, as is Heavy Duty, but I'll get, on to, get into that in a little bit. Normally, in a standard team deathmatch, because hey, Black Ops 2 went on the score streak or point streak, I think like it was the score streak, scene, you would get 100 points in team deathmatch per a kill. And then you would get 150 in the arms race. So arms race would kind of be an attempt to increase the pace of the game so people would get their kill streaks faster so the game would end faster. Yeah, I guess it kind of did the job, but all the bad players wouldn't really get their streaks like ever. I'm not here to insult anyone and call anyone bad, that. but some people wouldn't even get their streaks. Yeah. So that was a little bit weird. And then um, getting into ghosts, heavy duty. You now, saw I think Heavy Duty is generally a good idea, just due to the fact that in Call of Duty right. Ghosts, judging by how quickly you die, I just think Heavy Duty was a good addition. Now, I haven't played too much Heavy Duty on my own, but Wait, I have heard that it doesn't school. really make that much of a difference up close and only at long range. Yeah, but, um, okay. yeah, I guess it's different. Um, it's I think it's Blitz, Team Deathmatch, and Domination, which those are some fan favorite game modes, so I don't think they went wrong there. I think that was a good choice for them to choose those game modes and not just make it TDM based. And now, getting into Cranked, now Cranked was in Ghost since the beginning, obviously, it's one of the most popular played game modes. Now what it is, it, that is a successful attempt at increasing the pace of a game mode. Now in my opinion, rather than having a Cranked game mode of it being Team Deathmatch with the 30 second counter and the speed perk, like, where you get the speed perks, I think they should have a playlist. Now, where you click on the Cranked, and it would be an option of Domination, Blitz, and TDM, because those are the three fan-favorite game types. So I do believe they should be implemented into Cranked, because in games like Domination, the objective is to rush 
for players who just, you know, want to do well. Players who want to do well might camp. The people who have, you know, they generally go out there with the goal of wanting to succeed and get chem strikes. They're not going to camp. They're going to rush around and try and get as many kills as possible. And if you were to add a cranked counter and make it so that once you get one kill or cap in domination, you get all the speed perks, I think that would honestly be a great idea. Just due to the fact that all the time in domination, nearly every game, there's one to two, even three, maybe the whole team is just not really moving, and that can be really frustrating. But even the noobs in Cranked run around. Yeah, some people camp, but not to the extent that they do in Domination. So Cranked in other game modes like Blitz and Domination, in my opinion, would be absolutely outstanding. So maybe if we could try and get Infinity Ward to listen to us, maybe they will take some fan suggestions, because I know they have lack doing that in the future. Or in the past, my bad. They have lack taking fan suggestions, which I do believe that, you know, the fans know best because they're the consumers, they're the ones buying your game, and they're the ones that you generally want to listen to because they're the ones that if you make the game better, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be selling more copies. More people are gonna be saying, hey, Ghost is good, you should go out and buy it. So, in my opinion, those game modes, you know, have done well. So, what will we see in Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, as new game modes other than Heavy Duty? Hopefully something different that we've never seen before. I mean, we just need to keep our fingers crossed because, in my opinion, this game is a little slow-paced, but, you know, it can be increased. If we're just to see some new stuff, that can increase the pace of the game, make it more fun for, you know, your friends. You can play with your friends, play solo. Anyway, it should just be more fun, in my opinion, because it does feel kind of slow. But uh, this commentary was a little choppy, I'm going to be honest. This wasn't as good as I wanted, to, wanted it to be. Ah, there you go. I can't speak today. But my name is Incarnate HD. Uh, you can sub to my channel as well as you can subscribe to Zoom as it is in every video. If you guys did listen this far into the commentary, comment serial in the comments below. That's something I like to do. My name is Incarnate or Incarnate HD. Make sure to sub to me and Zoom. And I'm out. Peace.